Alex Bezeska here. Today on From the Raw, we're going to be talking about some cool shots that you can get with just a camera and a tripod. No fancy, expensive gear necessary. Survivor man shot. You gotta look down a lot. It's part of it. I haven't eaten for weeks. My last match went out. It just died on me. The show is so much better than Man vs. Wild. Bear grills. I can't even say zebra. I just I just found a wild zebra. I just I just tracked it down. It sounded kind of like Scottish or something. Okay, so basically how this shot is set up is I've got the tripod resting here on my hips and then I'm holding the handle which I reversed and then the camera's up there so the shaky iPhone shot will be the second video iPhone iPhone okay anyway oh gosh oh man It's moist. The other thing that makes Survivor Man so much better than Man vs. Wild, I'll tell you why while I'm spinning around here. In Survivor Man, he always has to cross the river twice. So, um, the reason being, because he's the cameraman. So he's carrying the gear with him the entire time. And that means that he puts the camera on a tripod on one side of the river, crosses the river, then has to come back for the camera gear, then cross the river again, and then he gets to go where he needs to go. And he does that all for a good shot. He does that just for entertainment purposes. Shh. Shh. Filming. All right, so I'm gonna ford the river. <laughs> and I don't get to ask an Indian for help. Ah, I gotta cross this river. Dang it. The look of this neck shot is really easy to achieve if you have a tripod. Simply fold the neck on the tripod back so that the camera is parallel to the tripod legs. Then hold the tripod legs with both hands and swoop it along the grass on the ground to get this effect of the camera running through the grass. A good tip for when you're doing this shot is to set your camera's aperture all the way open and then set the focus so that it's all the way in the foreground. That way when you're swooping along the grass on the ground, you're gonna have the first layer of grass that hits the lens in focus and all the rest is gonna be out of focus, creating kind of a mysterious look. One of these low shots could be really useful if you're doing some kind of movie where something is sneaking up on somebody out of the grass, like a little hedgehog or some sort of tiny baby chameleon or something like that. All right, back to the back to the survivor man shot here. He also has to like put his batteries next to the campfire to keep them warm and stuff. I don't really know all the specifics and the details and logistics and the metaphysics behind that. It seems like a pain in the butt. Here's another shot that's really easy to get if you have a tripod. All you need to do is point the camera straight up, hold the neck of the tripod with one hand, and hold one of the legs of the tripod with the other hand. Then you could swing the tripod around, and it'll look like it's a person's vision looking up into the trees.
So I just found out what these slots in my camera bag are for. It's pretty awesome. Can't afford the lenses to go in there, so fill them up with energy drinks. If you don't have a fancy stabilizer rig for your DSLR camera, don't worry. If you've got a tripod, you have a stabilizer. Just extend the neck of the tripod as far as it'll go, hold the tripod by the neck, and use the other hand for the focus ring on your lens. The legs will act as a counterbalance. It's as easy as that. Here's a quick test clip that I did using the tripod. And here's a clip that I did handheld. Any vibration in your hands will transfer directly to your camera. But that vibration is absorbed when using the tripod. Um, this definitely looks like the work of a of a badger. I, I mean a beaver. The the, uh, the efficiency of the way these logs have been cut, the uh, apparent skill in placement. If you liked this episode and found it helpful, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will get back to you as soon as I can with questions answered. It's that easy. I think it's just some kind of woodland creature.